But first, paper recycling has grown in popularity. Modern attitudes mean more of us are returning our wasted newspaper, magazines and packaging to be used again. Doing our bit for the planet sort of thing. In an average year, Britain uses over 11 million tonnes of paper as packaging and reading material. And about 40% of it ends up at a facility like this. But it's not recycled here. This is the first step where it's sorted. Everything from padded envelopes to glossy magazines are sent to be recycled. That's a lot of different types of paper and this creates a big headache for the recyclers who need to sort and separate things like newspaper supplements. They're often wrapped in plastic. This has to go. Padded envelopes and cardboard are also found in the pile. To remove this, the material is now passed over a series of rollers. Lighter paper falls through, leaving the cardboard, envelopes and packaging on top. Unfortunately for the recyclers, there are still several more sorting stages to go through to get pure paper they can work with. After initial sorting, some types of coloured card may still be left. A colour-sensitive camera checks what passes by and if it's not right, a well-timed blast of air removes it from the conveyor. This sorting facility uses some fairly high-tech equipment, but at the end of the day, people power is still the best filter for the job. Once all the material has been sorted, it should end up here. Pure waste paper ready to be recycled. The first stage of making new paper from old is to pulp it. This is done by using a range of chemicals to break it all down. The waste is filtered once more because even at this stage, impurities may have slipped through. The clutter is sieved out and the workers end up with this grey slop. This has to be cleaned if it's to be transformed into fresh recycled paper. The pulp still contains inks from the original paper print. To remove it, chemicals and soap are added. Air is pumped through the mix and the inks stick to the soap bubbles which are rising to the surface. Here, they can be removed. And this is the machine that will turn the pulp into fresh paper. It's over 120 metres long and contains a variety of devices to help turn sloppy pulp into pristine A4. Now, it may sound hard to believe, but it only takes 20 seconds to turn pulp into paper. When the pulp enters the machine, it's 99% water and just 1% fibre, so the water's got to go. The pulp is spread out and passed through a roller with an absorbent cloth. The cloth captures most of the liquid which is wrung out below. It then returns to the machine to repeat the process. The sheet of emerging paper is now passed through a series of heated rollers. 130 degrees Celsius dries the paper perfectly. Now even though the pulp was cleaned earlier, the processed paper is still grey. So now it's painted. Two rollers layer on white ink, giving it its traditional clean appearance. The sheet then passes over air dryers, and like your work shirt, it then gets a good iron. This smooths out any wrinkles the new paper may have. Finally, the fresh sheet is wound onto enormous rollers. The biggest ones can weigh up to as much as 30 tons. Strength is an important factor in deciding what the new paper will be used for. Books use a far higher grade of paper than newspapers. A book may be read many times where a newspaper is only used two or three times. This machine tests samples so they can be assigned a quality grade. It can then be packed up to be sent to the right client when they need fresh stock. But first, the roll will be cut down to the right size. Book publishers need a different size of paper from a company making gift wrap, for example. The neatly sliced rolls tumble slowly off the guillotine and are sent off to be wrapped in yet more paper. 
This protective layer will help keep the freshly recycled stock clean. Finally, the rolls are stored until they're ready to be delivered. Although paper recycling is a big step forward for the environment, paper fibres can only be recycled five or six times before they become too brittle. But the savings for the environment make it all worthwhile, as the recyclers turn your old newspaper into brand new A4.